everything together and uh, and uh, uh, talk about uh, of one at least one clinical case that I think will really enlist all of your expertise to review all the different treatment options. So, uh, you want to ask me your question, and I'll set up for the video of clinical cases. Okay. So, uh, I got a question um, now for Elab, and and you showed the video where you from above in the robotic setting uh, went through the uh, elevator. Is it a standard when you do an APR that you, rather than flipping over the patient, you go with the robotic system that you can detach the elevator widely? Well, um, I would say that in our institution, and I'd be curious to hear some of the other panelists, and we heard about beautiful, interesting turret dissections as well and the experience, but whether done open or laparoscopic or robotic, we've always divided the levators from the abdominal approach widely by stopping the TME dissection before we get down to the to the base of the pelvic floor. I think it's very feasible in any approach. There may be some very bulky tumors, in which yeah. case you don't, in, a, in very narrow pelvises, and in, in some of those cases, there may be an advantage then to doing that portion from the perineal side. So I think we do have to individualize. And I don't, I'm not a believer that one, there's, a, there's sort of a one approach for everybody, but, uh, yeah. but generally we divide from, from above. I think in France, most of the surgeon cut the muscle from below. Yep. And uh, we, we, we teach that we have to stop maybe six, seven centimeters before finishing the TME to avoid the cone effects. And we, we finish the operation from below. I don't know if we are right. Maybe you are right. I, I just want to make a, a comment about T4 surgery. I think that it's not because of the robots that you can do T4 tumor by laparoscopy because we have already published 50 cases of T4 colorectal tumor by laparoscopy. I think it, it's feasible, yes. Uh, maybe not for duodenum involvement. I think for white, collect, white colon cancer when you have duodenal involvement. I think maybe robot can help because we have not the good angulation with laparoscopy to, to see the involvement. But if you have only bladder or vaginal, vaginal involvement for rectum, I think you can do by laparoscopy. <coughs> if you can do en bloc resection, it's feasible, I think. You have no microphone. <laughs> Thank you. While we load up the talk, um, actually, this is one issue we definitely have in the US. I don't think the um, interesting type resection has really taken off in colorectal surgeons. So I'm curious to know, since it seems that you are doing a fair amount of it, at least in France, um, what do you think the key is in terms of training? Do we, go need, do we need to go back to the, lab to the laboratory and do uh, uh, cadavers for training? But, uh, How I do we increase the technical? I think that on